Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well. Now you might have remembered just before Christmas I did a party wood haul with I saw it first. Well, it's getting into spring now so I thought we'd do another one to like showcase their spring wear outfits. I saw it first is such an affordable site with some great pieces on there and the best thing is I have a 50% 50% discount code 50. So if you guys want 50% of anything in this haul all you have to do is use the code Laura50. Also we're doing a competition giveaway with this video where two of you are in with the chance of winning £50 vouchers to spend it. I saw it first. All you have to do is follow I saw it first on Instagram and then do a little swooshy emoji on their latest Instagram picture and they'll pick a winner within seven days. Unfortunately, it is only open to Ireland and UK, but I have 50% off for the rest of you anyway. Before we begin, if any of you are like super into fashion like I am, you might notice that this this particular collection of items that I've picked from I Saw It First was heavily inspired by the Max Mara show. Lots of really bold animal prints. So I'm very excited. I'll show you a few pictures here of my inspiration so you can see how you can get a really high-end designer look at a fraction of the price, which is, you know, what I'm all about. So this first look I pulled together, the two belt thing was on a catwalk show as well, and I can't remember which one. If I can find the picture, I will put it here. But how fabulous is this? So this is a belt. That ha it's like just one, but it looks like two from the front. So really, really handy that you don't have to wear two belts. But I just love this. Wrapped around like a plain white shirt dress, which they have loads on. I saw at first. I particularly like this one because it had a drawer in waistline. Love the cut of that. And then to go on top, I thought how fabulous was this snake print jacket. I saw at first had a number of these jackets in all different kind of prints. So go check it out. Find your style. But I just loved how gorgeous this was even over a polar neck I thought this would be really nice so here I have the denim jacket over a white shirt with the belt I love this belt it's gonna be my go-to at the moment really easy to do as well because it's elastic at the back black jeans black boots and this is very could pop on with a pair of flat boots some like biker boots would work really nicely but yeah I really love this look and then if you take the jacket off it's really quite smart as well this is a little closer love this belt I think it just makes an outfit this is the shirt on by itself. I love how easy it is to pinch in round the waist with not excess fabric because it's obviously a drawstring. Just pair it with some thigh high boots, snake print belt around the middle, good to go. So this next one is really bold animal print. We got a fleck of pink, some orange in there as well. This bold print was definitely inspired by that Max Mora show. I just love this kind of vibe. I think this would work with like black trousers, white shirt for work, like really suits it and boots it up, or equally you could wear it on a night out as just a dress, so really versatile outfit here. So here I've popped on a shirt underneath it, black trousers, black boots, black bag, and just so you can see how you could like wear it for office wear, smart casual vibes, you know that's what I love. Equally you could wear it at the weekend as well, just the dress. This is the look a little closer, I just adore the pattern on it, I think it's so bold, it makes a statement. And then we have the Saturday Night Out version, I've got some thigh high boots because I get really cold get some woolly socks on underneath, little back bag, all good to go. I love how sophisticated it is, but then you still got the womanly like silhouette because it pinches you in really nicely at the waist. So this next one reminded me a little bit of Chanel, the beautiful tweed that we always see on the Chanel catwalk, but I thought this would look great with like a white shirt underneath it for like office attire or like maybe a Bordeaux blouse as we get into the warmer months, but just how designer-esque does this look? So this is the pinafore on, it's so like what we saw on the Chanel catwalk, in particular the black and white monochrome look with the tweed was very very Chanel. I love the like distressed fabric of it I think it gives it a really nice edge just popped a white shirt underneath it and then this black bag with the scarf out and some thigh high boots as well so this next one is definitely my most Max Mara inspired piece I just love the combination with the woolly knit underneath it the light colors for that spring months but then you have the fun animal print as well I thought to tie the whole look in we could use my belting tricks you know how much I love a wide waist belt on here these are super handy just to like really find your waist and give yourself a silhouette so you'll see on this channel that I belt a lot of things but I just love the colors of this as 
well, so gorgeous. So seeing as it's spring, I've just paired it with some white jeans and some tan accessories. I love the combination of the sleek white with this leopard print cardigan. Big prints are so in and I just I loved it all over the catwalk so really wanted to incorporate it more into my wardrobe. You can see the belt around the middle really draws it all together pricking out the brown in the cardigan as well and gives a waistline which you know I love. So up next I have a very vibrant jumpsuit. Love jumpsuits. They're perfect for when you don't know what the dress attire is. So if it's dressy, if it's casual, I always, if I don't know, I always go for a jumpsuit. But equally, you could pop a shirt underneath it for workwear, a polar neck body like I've done here for like casual day wear. So jumpsuits like this are so versatile and that's what I really look for when I pick out pieces these days. So this is a body from, I saw it first too, I picked it up in a medium, so, um, and it fits perfectly, so do size, I'm small and it got me to size up. <laughs> But um, yeah, I loved it. It comes in all different colours too, so go check it out. I love how bold this jumpsuit is. As I said, it does come in a load of different colours and patterns, so do check it out if you like it. But I love the silhouette, really nicely fitted here and then into these massive wide pants. You could put a sweater over the top, like a knitted sweater, which would be really, really nice. But equally, put a shirt on for office wear, no shirt, just bare for like a night out or something. You could get your wear out of this. And then I've just put the look together with this Dior saddlebag, Dior-esque, the dupe. Um, but I think it works really nicely. And the body underneath it as well is from I Saw It First. So this colour I just love. I actually do my nails in this colour a lot. Mocha, I want to call it. Um, I just love long cardigans and then belting them around the middle. I think it creates a really nice waistline. I actually have the white one of these, really similar. But um, such good quality as well. Like they fall really heavily and I like that in a cardigan. Um, doesn't crease easily either so really gorgeous pop a belt around and you're good to go so here we have the cardigan on as i said gorgeous gorgeous color like this mocha kind of color snakeskin belt around the middle black jeans black bag and then i have the dior-esque saddle bag just by my side as well i love these cardigans i feel like they're very elegant but casual at the same time you could pop it on with some flat boots as well and i just finished off the look with a hat i always love these hats this time of year keeps keeps you from having bad hair days <laughs> so this has to be my favorite find from the i saw it first website this is an epic Dior saddlebag dupe. I mean, it's so good. It has two straps on. I've left them both on because I kind of like that one dangling down when I have it on. Um, it's just come out the packet, so it probably needs to be um, weighed down a little bit. But you can alternately just have this one or just have this one. And I just like, I like wearing it cross body, like with my arm. <laughs> I love wearing it over like shirts and blazers. I think it adds a really nice effect to it. All about that cross body, small kind of bag at the moment. So I think this would be perfect. It comes in pink too. So this next one too is giving me all those Max Mora vibes. Giant zebra print and the colour of it as well, like a peachy mocha, is gorgeous. A really long blazer dress. I like the long cut of it. Very oversized, very androgynous but sexy at the same time. And I picked up this little bag to go with it. I just thought for a very demure night out outfit that would be gorgeous. Or equally again, like always with these blazer dresses, pop a shirt underneath it for work and you've got a really good work time dress. So I've just swapped the belt out for this other one from I saw it first, the double belt. I thought it worked really nicely with this vibe. I have some jeans and some boots on with it and this cute little beaded bag from I saw it first too. You could equally wear it on its own with some stilettos or some thigh high boots or something for a night out. But I just opted for this look. I like the smart casual kind of vibe. I love the sleeves on it as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box. And also do not forget my code Laura50 for 50% off and also the giveaway for two of you to win £50 to spend at I saw it first which is amazing you can get so much stuff for that because it's so affordable don't forget number one go follow I saw it first comment the swooshy star emoji on the latest Instagram picture and yeah see who wins in seven days time they will contact you thank you so much for watching guys as always do go give me a follow on instagram i am at the laura blair i'd love for you guys to come over there too and come say hey and i'll see you soon for another video bye what you do you know that all i think about is you say the things you say i don't know how you make me feel this way